You can ruin all your lines. You can mutate your body with tons of gear. You cannot rush muscle maturity. What is up, everyone? It's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 1907. Check out 1907.com. ASMR Spritz, Intelligent Elephant Carbon, Coupon Code Russo, Young LA Coupon Code Russo. Today's rant is blasting too early before muscle maturity, not understanding muscle maturity and overall grasping that with enhanced bodybuilding, it is a marathon, not a sprint. I'm not saying to jog the marathon. You definitely got to race the marathon, but you can't sprint at the start. And what I see a lot of the times and everyone messaged me on Instagram at Russo Lifts. And if you want to talk to me directly, I still do answer 10 to 20 people a day for free. Although it's gone out of hand on that Instagram, I'm going to be honest, but I always see people not understand muscle maturity, muscle density, and why that if they go on this cycle, they don't look like this said individual once again with different genetics than them. But more importantly, from training in the gym, their overall time in the gym of the person they want to look like might be over five years longer than they have been training. But they think since they copied their cycle or taking more, they, they want to know why they don't look like this. This is where a lot of misconceptions happen is that you can be really big, but have, I think Kevin Lavroni called it virgin muscle. I believe like when the muscles are still shapeable, it'll, it'll get talked about in the top of the pro league, you know, where when you're a younger bodybuilder, aspiring bodybuilder, you want to just build, 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 build all the mass, be a little soft, not as separated versus maintain this lean look. And then as your muscles mature, that's when you sculpt it up and you have this crazy density that can't be achieved without the actual time in the gym, the actual hammering on the muscles. And that's where you see the difference, especially in the top of the IFBB Pro League on who climbs up all the ranks is they have mature, dense muscle. And that normally comes with time. So what I'm saying is a lot of guys miss their peak physique. A lot of guys start blasting gear around 20 years old. Okay, cool. They continue blasting till about 24, 25. And then, you know, they're pretty much done. They're burnt out. Their androgen receptors are pretty down regulated and they aren't really making much progress, right? I think more plates, more dates said you only have so many blasts in the tank. You can only blast gear like that so many times. What I'm saying is if they did slower cycles, crept up, realize they're not going to mature till around 26 to 30 and then hit their blast that would technically be their peak physique so you have all these guys missing out on number one the mass building phase opportunity remember back in the old school days you know you, you just got big in your 20s and then you cut it up in your 30s nowadays everyone's fixated on cloud and constantly being shredded and all the money around being shredded right and that makes sense where will they go they'll, they'll be the same they'll be the same i've seen so many guys Guys, I thought again enhanced bodybuilding and all of Andrew threw up FFMI. Fat free mass index is kind of how you tell someone's natural or not, or someone's deserving to be unnatural, is if they can get to with shitty genetics an FFMI of 2425 on gear preferably above 25 once you're above 25 you have a significant enhanced physique that there's no way shape or form can be maintainable off the gear and that's really what it's all about I, that's what i thought it was all about i didn't think it was about looking skinny and shredded i thought it was about progressing fat free mass index and holding as much lean body mass as possible and having as much tissue as possible but we will retract back to the maturity is that you could rush all that size be super soft be not as separated you're comparing yourself to older guys and you'll come to the conclusion that your genetics aren't good enough and that you should stop and that it, it is what it is. 
when if you would have kept training enhanced not on massive cycles for about four or five more years your muscles will look completely different that's why someone who wants to start bodybuilding when they're like 30 it's cool but i don't personally think you'll achieve anywhere near the muscle quality of some dude who was training since 18 juiced a little bit through his mid-20s early 20s maybe really hopped on the sauce approaching 30 that physique is the peak physique and what we're gonna see in my generation the younger generations is a lot of people won't hit this now there's a couple athletes i'm following that are definitely gonna hit a physique like this which is awesome to still see that people are pushing fat free mass index and that's the most impressive thing in my opinion is having a ffmi of 27 you know that's nuts ffmi of 26 that's nuts anything above 25 you're just like wow especially in person and if you create muscle maturity on top of that that's what separates you the point of this rant is muscle maturity cannot be rushed right you can rush size you can rush size forever you can ruin all your lines you can mutate your body with tons of gear you cannot rush muscle maturity i'll have andrew throw up a young picture of dexter jackson versus an old picture of dexter jackson as you can see the muscle quality over time he's not really gaining much tissue he built his foundation in his early 20s mid 20s and then he matured out his physique in his 30s and you can see that that if he was blasting and gunning in his early 20s, he might have not been able to have that sustainable of a career and have that mature physique because he ruined all his lines by blasting too much. He fucking couldn't handle blasting anymore from the health complications of these extreme exposures, which led him to having a much shortened career. I feel like he's the greatest person to study because of how old he was still competing at the top of the pro league at 49, which is nuts. And he has the most mature muscles. He's called the blade because his density and maturity is nasty. And that comes with time. That comes from him being on his grind in the gym year after year after year after year. You're never going to catch someone with muscle maturity. You have to pay your dues. And you can't think that, oh, if I just take more gear than this guy, even though he's been training longer, I'll look better. You might look bigger. You might have more muscle mass, but the maturity is what's going to separate you on stage. And the maturity is what's going to draw eyes to you on stage. So keep that in mind that your peak physique shouldn't be happening around 24, 25. Your peak physique should be happening around 32. So if you need to redo all your cycles to hit your peak physique when you should, when it's definitely the maximum potential, then that's the whole point of this rant. I'll see you guys in my next video.